Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We hope you're enjoying your Friday so far. And before we send you into your weekend, we want to give you a preview and catch you up on some of the latest political news ahead of this Sunday's State of Texas. Remember, you can catch that show Sunday mornings at 8.30 on KXAN and again at 9.30 p.m. on the CW Austin. Let's get into some of those headlines now. First up, Governor Greg Abbott went to the border today, and he went there to announce the creation of a new National Guard base camp. Armed members of the National Guard joined him in Eagle Pass, where the first phase of the project is now under construction. Abbott said the 80-acre camp will house anywhere from 1,800 to 2,300 soldiers at a time, depending on the need. Soldiers assigned to work at the border will now not have to travel. The governor said the idea is to keep expanding the state's border security capabilities. What this will do, uh, also a little bit more specifically, is going to consolidate our forces. Again, as, as opposed to being scattered around many different places across this region, they will be operating out of one place. It will amass a large army in a very strategic area. The governor did not share how much it will cost the state to build this base camp. However, he said it should be minimal and instead focused his comments on how he believes it will save Texas money by having all the National Guard members housed in one place. The first phase of the project is expected to be completed by mid-April. In other news today, a Harris County judge rejected Attorney General Ken Paxton's request to dismiss his securities fraud charges in a case that's been ongoing for years. The judge's rejection means Paxton will have to stand trial for allegations that he defrauded investors. Earlier this month, his legal team asked the judge to dismiss the charges, claiming his right to a speedy trial has been violated. The charges go back as far back as 2011, when Paxton allegedly sought out investors in the tech company Servigy Incorporated without saying he was being paid by that company to promote its stock. The trial is currently set to begin on April 15th. Finally, a new Texas state law that makes it a state crime for non-citizens to enter the country illegally is getting its first test in federal court this week. The law, known as Senate Bill 4, is set to go into effect in less than a month. However, the Department of Justice and civil rights groups sued to block it from taking effect. Now, no cameras were allowed inside the courtroom during this hearing. However, our Monica Madden was there and shared some of the arguments. This impacts all of us. Border residents and activists making their opposition to SB4 heard outside federal court Thursday. What Texas is doing is unconstitutional. If it stands, the law will give Texas police powers only reserved for federal agents, arresting and effectively deporting migrants who cross illegally. We're allowed to prosecute people coming into our state illegally from a foreign nation. In court, state attorneys echoed arguments made by the bill's author last week in Eagle Pass. It's not preempted by existing federal immigration law. It's not in conflict with federal immigration law that's in, in place. And mostly, uh, Texas has the right, the constitutional right and authority uh, to secure its border. While the judge said he was sympathetic of the problems Texas is experiencing, he expressed skepticism of the state's arguments, expressing concern that if other states were to enact similar immigration enforcement laws, it would lead to a patchwork of laws and a confederation of states. U.S. attorneys argued, quote, there's no ambiguity. States cannot have parallel laws for removing non-citizens, pointing to a similar law Arizona passed that was later deemed unconstitutional. I think there's very little question that so long as the Supreme Court's 2012 decision in the Arizona case is still good law, what Texas is doing is unconstitutional. Legal experts speculate this issue will end up before the Supreme Court again. Immigration policy, whether we like it or not, is the purview of the federal government. Monica Madden, KXAN News. Also, a heads up for next week. We want to get you ready for this, too. The early voting period for the Texas primary begins Tuesday and lasts through March 1st. Election Day, as a reminder, is March 5th. That, of course, is the last day to vote. Just wanted you to get out there and do your civic duty when you can. Now, this Sunday, you can also watch lengthy conversations with the three leading candidates in the U.S. Senate race. That includes Republican incumbent Ted Cruz, who is working to secure his third term in office, 
Congressman Colin Allred, a Democrat who's running in, from the Dallas area. And finally, from State Senator Roland Gutierrez of San Antonio. You can hear from all three men when you tune in again this Sunday on State of Texas. Sunday morning at 8.30 on KXAN and 9.30 p.m. on CW Austin. More of our political coverage is also available on our website at any time, as well as our KXAN News mobile app. So please check that out whenever you can. I want to point out really quickly that if you go to our homepage right here, just below the main story section, if you scroll down, you can go to your election headquarters, click into that page for all of our ongoing election coverage, what you need to know ahead of the March 2024 primary. We're almost there. We're knocking on the door. This is a great resource for you to go and catch up and find out a little bit more about everything going on with this election. Once again, I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live Studio. We appreciate you joining us here on this Friday afternoon. We also hope that you enjoy your weekend. So I'll send you on your way, and we'll be back with other updates next week. Enjoy the rest of the day, everybody. Take care.